Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson here on the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the brand new strategy that I am using currently to find new made in the USA products to sell on Amazon. I really think that this is a new direction altogether for selling on Amazon that not a lot of people are doing, hardly anyone is doing. It's a huge, huge opportunity right now, especially going forward in 2022. If you're looking to get started selling on Amazon, this is the video for you. If that sounds like something you're interested in watching, stick around to the end. Be sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss videos like this in the future. But other than that, let's get right into it. Now, really quick before we get started, I have some incredibly inciting news. I just made it a whole lot easier to come work with me and to come join Savage University to learn from the beginning to the end to scaling how to start selling on Amazon FBA. Um, I don't make videos like this often where I'm talking about a product or service that I sell, but Savage University for the last uh, over a year now has been a thousand dollar program that is really high level that not a lot of people can really get into application only. We're opening it up now so that you can get the course content uh, for a much lower price. There'll be a link down in the description. First link in the description, go open it up. Um, I don't know how long we're gonna be doing this. Uh, we're testing on a new model. So if you wanna take advantage of this, come ahead, go down below. First link in the description. When you head over to enroll, this will be the last page you see before you get an opportunity to join. If you have any questions, there's tons of information about the program and about uh, what we're all about at Savage University. Come in there, not to mention some of you will have the option at checkout to come join Savage University live calls every single week on Zoom with me personally. Um, so if you do get that on your end, congratulations. You are one of the people who will be able to come in and work with me face to face in a classroom environment. So lots of exciting stuff. Take a look at that if you're interested. If not, enjoy the rest of the video. Right. So jumping right into it, how do you find products? that are made in the US to sell on Amazon. So I think let's start with what people are doing wrong here and why so many people have this misconception that it's incredibly hard to find products that are made in the USA. Because what generally happens is someone will do product research, okay? So they use a product research tool and they'll come across a product, like let's just say like this. So it's some sort of hydration system portable blender okay this is a weird example because it's not your typical amazon product but then the next steps would look something like this you would go to alibaba.com you would type in the hydration system or portable blender and then you would find a manufacturer for this product now if you were to do something like searching portable hydration system manufacturers in the united states you would likely not find anything at all so to move forward and develop a new model for finding products that we can sell that are from the USA, and the reason that no one really knows how to do this yet, is because you have to revolutionize the entire way that you're thinking about doing this. The same thinking that got you to where you are now is not gonna get you to where you wanna be a year from now. So we have to look at the whole process and not just the sourcing process and say what needs to change. Well, I was just talking about this with my business partner this week, we're actively doing this. We were like, hey, what if we work from what can be sourced in the US backwards and then cross check all of those products against markets on Amazon? So if we can see a list of every product that you can source in the United States and then go to Amazon and type in those products, there you go. We already know we're starting from a place where 100% we can source this. We already know that. This is a made in the US product that we can pay for right now. As long as the profit margin makes sense, we go to Amazon, the market is big enough to support revenue for that product. We can sell this successfully as a made in the US brand. So let's take a look at that process and we'll come over to a website called thomasnet.com. thomasnet.com, T-H-O-M-A-S-N-E-T.com. Um, you can type this right into Google, any search engine, and this will be the landing page that you land on. Um, this is kind of their dashboard, so to say. And now what you can do is you can, again, type in a product right here. It's listed as suppliers. If you want to go to products, if you do this the typical way, you're not going to get what you want. If you were going to do like a, a dog agility kit or something like not dough, dog, 
right? You wouldn't probably get anything here. Again, nothing matches that. But if we're coming from a world of, you know, Alibaba, you type in dog agility kit. I once typed God agility kit. Who knows what that is? <laughs> it's a philosophical question. Um, anyway, you're going to get results and they're going to be accurate and they're going to make sense and they're going to be exactly what you're looking for because there's so, so many products on here that we can do that. We can start with the product idea first and then just go find out how to source it versus what we need to be doing here is look at the products that are available and then see if they're good markets on Amazon. So hopefully you're taking notes. Let's go ahead and just do this products. Now the cool thing by it'll sort by category or you could come over here to product catalogs, right? So I'll show you what that looks like. If we go to product catalogs, you get a, um, some of you recognize this from like Amazon, right? So you get a breakdown of all of the different categories, much like when you open this up, you get a breakdown of all the different categories. Then you can click in and look at products in any one of those individual categories. So come back up to the top, start here. If any of these make sense to you, there's obviously some that don't explosives, armaments, uh, weaponry, that's not going to work. Okay. Machinery and machining tools could work. Potentially non-industrial products could work. Um, there, there's some stuff that's just robotics and military grade stuff. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. So I have found that the most effective way to find products is not through category. It's by putting a word in here, go toy. Uh, let's do decor. Okay. Oh, we're in products. That's why we need to go to all and then check this out. So decor, you're going to get a breakdown. Why isn't this working? Okay, cool. This is what we want. Sometimes if you go up here, there we go. That's what was supposed to happen. So it should give you a breakdown of the catalogs right here. Go decor, for instance, let's try my other one. Go to toy, so toys, 348 suppliers, toy packaging, toy parts, and you go to tools, right? Come up here, tools, 4,000 suppliers. So there's certain things that just make more sense. We go wood, all right? Wooden ware, wooden cooking, wooden glue, carpenters, woodworking, right? Um, all these things, we could go craft. So you, you see the point, right? Any, any main category that would have products that you could sell on Amazon, that makes sense to you to sell on Amazon, you could search that on thomasnet.com. And now, so let's go into one of these missions, arts and crafts, craftsman style furniture, um, arts and crafts, brushes, um, arts and crafts, arts and crafts supplies. Okay, so let's go back to one of the bigger ones. So let's do something like de decor, or maybe even toy. So we'll just go to decorations. Cool. So now if I come through here, one of the cool things that we can now do is use their bio of what the manufacturer is capable of doing as kind of how we're vetting them and choosing which one to click on, right? So if we see, okay, we can see where they're from. They're all going to be within the U.S., California, Texas, Ohio. Manufacturer of standard and custom pl plastic decorations, egg crate, anti-static foam, various sizes. All you have to do is go view supplier. Can take you to this page now. A lot of people get confused here. Let's go right to their website. So command enter it. You don't lose this page. Go over to their website. And here's where you have to put in the time. Not all of these make sense. Toolbox foam, okay, polyurethane neoprene, packaging foam. So if we look at something like this, what does that actually look like? Well, that looks like studio monitor foam. It's egg crate foam, but if they're able to make that, we come over to here. I just happen to know this because I like producing music studio. And then we look at this as a potential market. So is there an angle that we can take in this market? Is there somehow a way that we can fit in here? And keep in mind, change the way you're looking at markets too. Everything has to change, okay? So when we look at this market, it's no longer uh, reviews are a huge issue. These things are a huge issue. Coming in with the brand and the story of Made in America, Made in the US, um, higher quality product, being able to ship them in with less lead time, um, starting to think about niching down in a much bigger category. You know, how do we make the best studio monitor isolation pads? And this could be a poor example for all I know. I'm just saying, insert your product idea here. This is the mentality that you should have. Look through, see if there's an angle, see if there's some way that you can break in here. This doesn't look like it's worth it to me. There's not enough revenue um, and it does look slightly crowded. So we still wanna have that uh, mentality a little bit just go keep opening up manufacturers. So you're actually doing the product research itself via the manufacturing backwards. 
So what we can achieve working back to something. And now we're just cross checking on Amazon. So every time we get to something, we're going to go search it on Amazon. Once we know that we can source it, let's check this one out again, website. And this looks very private labely right away. Right? So if I had to guess, this looks like they're not making all of these. Um, they are probably sourcing these themselves. So not maybe not all of these are made in America. So keep that in mind. Um, usually a manufacturer will have one kind of product. So if it was all woodenware stuff and stuff like that, and it was just a manufacturer, makes more sense. But hey, even with something like this, where they're a much bigger thing, they have apparel, bags, drinkware, fun outdoors, all these different categories, um, you still have the added benefit of sourcing locally. So your shipping time is gone and your shipping cost is cut down immensely. So if you do find a wholesaler like this, where they're kind of selling a lot of different products and they might even be sourcing them from China. Okay. Maybe it's not American made, but you get the added benefit of working with a local supplier as far as cutting down that shipping time and cost. Um, so that's one thing to think about. That's not really the game that I'm in. I'm more about manufactured in the U S um, and moving more in that direction and creating a brand around that. I'm mean, working in maybe just with one or two suppliers to make a whole line of products. That's really what we're trying to do. So test this out. Okay. Give it a try. Go to thomasnet.com, type in what you want. Um, try and work backwards to a product. Okay. It's not going to be easy. You have to work through a lot of manufacturers, work down to a product. Okay. Um, this is just one little example. You can type in categories here, go camping and we can, you know, camping tents, camping truck, camp cushions, equipment and supplies. There's 98 suppliers. Okay. So we can come through here, private label manufacturer of camping equipment, supplies, liquid soap. Okay. Perfect. Right. So they already are stating that they're going to be able to do this stuff, right? Private label manufacturer. What do we do? We put your best ideas on the shelf. Okay, great. So we go to products. Okay. Let's check out their products, right? So we come through here. I don't exactly know how this is camping, but we'll see. I suppose looked like it was talking about liquid soaps and stuff like that. Anyway, um, Amazon ready. Okay. We'll help you count. See what I'm saying? Like this is hiding in plain sight. It's made in the USA. It's FDA approved USDA organic. A lot of the things that people think are impossible because they heard, Oh, you can only get good products from China. It's just not true. Okay. Someone will surely comment on this video. Oh, this is never going to work. Uh, it's not blah, blah. Okay, fine. Don't do it then. But for those, you know, who understand you'll give it a shot and you'll probably hit a, hit a home run with this. And you know, one video could equal made in the USA, successful brand sourcing, really high quality products and supporting local manufacturing all in one. It's an awesome process. So like I said, go try it out. It's probably not going to be for everyone. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end. Um, be sure to like, and subscribe down below. And like I said, if you're interested, you can go check out Savage University for reduced price. Um, first link in the description. But other than that, guys, I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Later.